Hello everybody, it's Lace Tart once again. Welcome back to another episode of Unturned on the Belgium map. I really hope you guys are enjoying this series as much as I am. Unfortunately, we did have a little bit of a hiccup in the last episode, but guess what? You can clearly see I ended up going back and getting all my stuff. Like, honestly, I don't understand what kind of luck that was because I had no idea where I was. Turns out I was actually really close. So I was able to get my stuff back fairly easily. So that was really good. So I'm having a lot of fun with this. And uh, I really hope you guys are enjoying it too. I've done a little bit of stuff off camera, but not too much. Obviously, I went and collected my stuff and came back. Made this campfire. I literally did that just then. Added some pillars to that. Uh, we have plenty of medical supplies too, which is awesome. Um, so that's great. That, that was a really fruitful trip last time, even though I did end up dying. Like I said, managed to get my stuff back. So that's something we need to keep an eye out for, is the wolves and bears that are on this map. I did see a bear too last time, but the bear didn't get me. Um, so that was lucky. I managed to, like, get around the bear, but then I didn't see the wolf, and then it just sort of came up behind me. And I made the mistake of actually getting out of my vehicle. I probably shouldn't have done that, and I probably would have been okay if I didn't, but I panicked and didn't really know what to do. Anyway, so what's the plan for today? Well, we're going to head down to this farm. The Varlet farm. I'm thinking we also want to hit this farm down here as well, if we can. We might even head over to this particular uh, area today. We've already been here. We've already been to Port Haven. And we've already been... We've been to Brussels as well now. And I went through some of these other areas. Um, I'd love to find a vehicle. We're just going to maybe go down here. As a, this would be great too, actually, to stop off at. Even though we already have a map, we might be able to find a GPS somewhere if we're lucky. Um, but Violet Farm's going to be our first stop, I think, for today. Um, so yeah. Super excited to get back into Unturned. It's been a little bit since I recorded last. Uh, yeah, let's head in this direction towards the farm. Leave the fire lit. That way, if it gets night, we can see. Um, but we, we know where we are anyways. Sort of in between the small town there, and between, like, where Port Haven is as well, so. And make sure you keep an eye out for wolves and bears, self. Oh, actually, speaking of the devil, let's go ahead and reload this. Um, I don't intend to have to use it, but you really never know. Now, what is that? Oh, that's just a pig. Okay, I don't particularly care. I've got plenty of food right now. Both in the gullet and in the chests back home, as well as um, some crops growing, so I'm not fussed. There's this little location here too, which is nice. Oh, hi. Also, I really do apologize for the quality of these videos. I don't know what's happening. Hopefully I have pretty much fixed that now. Seems like only in low light conditions it's going to look really bad now, now with my new rendering settings. So we'll just see how that works out now. That's a... Oh yeah, that is a... Uh, <laughs> I think that is a map exclusive item, not a... Uh, not a more farming mod item. Okay. Hold down control, I can craft all these. And that's an extra one, I'll put it here. I should hotkey that um, thing too. I should also combine these. There we go. Uh, that's a lot of metal. That's nice. This is what we want. We're going to need to make rain barrels and stuff eventually anyway, so this is not bad. And water tanks. And then also fuel tanks too when we eventually get cars, but we haven't seen any. That's the thing. I haven't, haven't come across any cars at all, really. The ones I have have been sort of defunct, so that's a little bit annoying, but whatever, I guess. I did have one at the very start. I don't even remember what the fuck happened to it. There's a bedroll here. Interesting, but it's not actually a bedroll that I can use. It's just part of the aesthetics of the map here. It's just a prop. Okay, whatever, I guess. Um, but yeah, uh, we're heading down to that farm. But before we do that, actually, let's skill up a little bit. I have 53 experience. May as well spend some of it. So let's go ahead and put some into cardio. More into overkill. Uh, let's do crafting, actually. That'd be nice. Or cooking. Yeah, cooking. Oh, I don't have enough for cooking. I have two points short, so it doesn't matter then. That will do then, for now. Um, am I heading in the right direction? Yes. 
I think that's it over there. Some bit of stuttering. That's just how this game is. So I got all the settings turned down, one of the reasons, because uh, it doesn't run particularly great. Obviously the water's turned up and the and the um, resolution is still 1080p. Um, and then my view distance is set to 100%, but then everything else is on low, so <laughs> or off, you know, it's as, pretty much as low as it can go. I had to do that so it would actually run decently. This game isn't really that optimized, it isn't well, really that well optimized compared to other games I play anyway. I mean, this game can run fairly well at like ridiculously low settings. And I remember I played it for years at 640 by 480 with everything on low and it ran fine. I mean, when there was a lot going on, the frame rate dropped below 20, but other than that, it was like above, it was above um, 50 most of the time on my really shitty laptop, so. So I did play like that for years, but yeah, that, there is still some stuttering going on um, with this game. It's a little bit less than it was, because I did do a little bit of overclocking on my graphics card, but I'm going to see if I can push it a little bit further eventually when I figure that out. I just haven't been bothered to figure that out yet, so, so I'm pretty much getting that down pat now. I'm not really getting hit as much. <laughs> And there might potentially be the odd guy that sneaks up, but now I'm just like kind of on edge about having a bear or whatever come out of nowhere. I don't like that when it gets dark either, because I know the quality dips when it gets dark. So it's getting dark now, that's why I said it. At least I'm pretty sure it is. It's collecting as much metal as we can. We can make a lots of metal things with that. Thinking we head to one of the major towns and try to get fuel, what do we reckon, for this quad over here? <clears throat> Bring that home with us, our first vehicle, finally. I mean, technically our first vehicle was something different, I don't remember what it was specifically, but there was definitely one in the first episode. Oh, I missed. Is my gun in bad condition? Is that why it's not... That's in, yeah, it's at 45%. That's a little bit annoying, because now it means it won't kill in one shot. But I know that was just me being bad, because I have ballistics off. I think I just kind of forgot that ballistics was off. I think this is the right way. It is. Let's go. So just follow this road, and I'm hoping we'll find a fuel station of some sort down here. So that would be great if we can find that, because then we can, um, you know, fuel up and stuff. I don't even know if we'll even make it, we'll see. There's another vehicle there too from the looks of it. I think, I think, there might be. Either way, let's park this off the street, because it looks like we're, uh, we're not going to be able to take that much further, which is a little bit annoying, but whatever. But there is a fuel station right there. That's a fuel station, I believe. Um, yeah. And we will... And there's rope and stuff. I don't really need rope. It's a decent sized town, isn't it? That's like, okay. It's, it's fairly small, but still. There's a fuel station here, which is interesting. Oh! Jeez, almost missed. But it's okay, because I didn't. Uh, morphine. Antibiotics are always nice to have. And there's nothing up there. Fair enough. Don't need the morphine. Could not care less. I can always make a splint if I need to. <sighs> Painkillers are nice to have. Don't need those items. Don't need the adrenaline. That's good. That's good. Uh, I can always make a splint. Don't need it. Ah, uh, yeah, that looks like it for in here, which is a little bit annoying. There's no loot out here either, which is unfortunate, but whatever. So there you go, there's that. It's got all four tires, and it's got some fuel, and it's got a battery. It's got everything we need. Yeah, I don't want to get that guy's attention. I'm thinking we try to take everyone else out first. 
so we don't attract too much attention. Now, this guy over here is also going to be a bit of a problem, isn't he? I mean, yeah, again, I can just go around, I think. So, if we go around this guy and then take out all the other guys sort of behind him... And we also go into the buildings and take out all the ones in there, then maybe we can just shoot the burners. And don't have to worry about people running up behind us. Like, you know, that guy, for example, would have been bad because he was a flanker. Yeah, so I'm just trying to clear out all the stragglers. And then once all the stragglers are gone, I can then open fire with my Schofield and um, get rid of the burners. So that's the plan. I didn't mean for that guy to get me. That was a bit of an oof, but that's fine. All good. Um, let's head in here and check it out. Carjack is okay. Are you fucking serious? Alright, whatever. There's a mechanic shop, so that's fine. I don't necessarily even need to take out the burner, actually. I can just go around him. Not a big deal. Fucking hell. Too close, dude. Fucking social distancing. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Alright, come on. You gotta you got make the most of the situation. You gotta have a bit of humor. Because you fucking lose your mind. Oh my Jesus. Alright, now I'm getting bit a lot. I don't actually don't think I like this knife very much, but there is a blowtorch here, which is fantastic. It's in pretty terrible condition, but it's all good because I can just... I can repair it quite easily. There we go. Alright, well we can fill up our... Oh, I didn't even fill this, did I? I have two, which is excellent. And we can put this in our hand and go repair this too. Can't we? There we go. Sick. Now, there's not many Zeds around here, so I'm thinking I'll just open fire. Yeah, there we go. Oh! Uh... There we go. <laughs> that was almost really bad, because I didn't have my knife in my hand. That wasn't so bad. I was expecting it to get a lot more attention, but there we go. Okay. That works. I hear things, but I don't see them. Where is he? Is he over here? Alright, dude, where the fuck are you? I don't like this. I don't like this one bit, because this is what it was like last time, and I had one sneak up on me, and I almost died of toxicity, didn't I? Alright, two full cans. Let's put them in here, drive it over there, fill it up, and then we can just boogie out of here, I think. I don't know where we're going to go next, but we'll head home first and dump out all our goodies first, and then we'll just decide that in a sec. And now let's go. We don't need to be here any longer, I don't think. We got a vehicle. Let's boogie. There's not much else here anyway. We may as well just go. <laughs> and we need to offload everything. Alright, I need to stop for a second look at the map. So hold on. Um, so we need to head... Basically straight up here, and then and then we need to turn and go towards this way, and then into the little town, and then we're right around here somewhere, aren't we? I think so. Yes. Yeah, there is a car here, but I believe it's yeah, it's not in good condition. <laughs> Try not to run this guy over. Oh, jeez. That was lucky. And there's our campfire. Perfect. Alright, awesome. So we're here. We're safe. Got all our goodies back home with us as well. Let's offload and see what we have. See, this is the chainsaw here. It's in... <laughs> it's at 4% for fuck's sake. Uh, we need to put some meds in here too. Good 
thinking some of these bandages can go in here for emergencies, maybe two. And I'll keep three on me. Have more drink here too, which will be good to keep, I suppose, on me, I don't know. Yeah, let's do that. We'll get a little bit more storage. Start working on the base, and I'll basically give you a rundown of what the plan is, and then we'll call it quits, I think. I think that'll be good enough for today's episode. So let's do it. So, um, the plan is a tower, and we need a roof of some sort. Actually, we need a uh, hole. We'll do a maple hole. And we'll do, uh, we'll do pine, mostly pine, but sometimes we'll mix in some maple for a little bit of contrast between the darker wood. So that can go up there like that, and you can see it does provide a little bit of contrast. It's a little hard to see because it's dark, but you can see it a little bit, I think. I can anyways. Um, also I'm thinking, make another crate, may as well. Oh, actually, hold on. Let's start working on the walls. May as well. Are we going to do maple or are we going to do pine? I think we might do maple. May as well. What do we reckon? Nah. Nah, nah, nah. We'll do, uh, we'll do, we'll do, we'll do, uh, we'll do pine. So, chainsaw it is. Um, let's go ahead and harvest some of these crops and we'll also plant some, some of these too. Because I forgot all about it, so let's see. This is what happens when you don't plan anything, guys. You just go all over the place. You never really know what to do. But I also am too lazy to plan. <laughs> and sometimes I find it more fun to not plan. When you don't really know what's going to happen, sometimes it can end up being more fun. So, there's that. Oh yes, beautiful. Holy shit. Nice. Crispy, red, delicious apple. Again, another thing part of the uh, more farming mod as well. I believe there's some recipes with those. You can make like you can make like juices and stuff, which is really cool. So we're going to get into that as well. So this is pine right here, but the other one was not pine for some reason. Like it looked exactly the same, but it was not. Does that go on there? It does. But it's a little bit strange. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Uh, actually, this side would be better. Because it's not clipping as much. I mean, actually, no, it's clipping more on this side. So I don't even think I even can... Oh, I can put it here. Okay. Yeah, no, that's actually not clipping as bad as I thought it would be. Two pillars. Pine pillars, two. One and we have like a double sort of area down here we're going to make just a normal roof for this part actually no that's fine there for now till I put a wall up I don't have any more materials okay well you guys get the idea I think I'm going to use this to climb up there and then I'll have it maybe I'll have it double all the way up I'm not really too sure think that'll do. I'll try and I'll make up like a little garage or something. In fact, maybe I can turn this little section into a garage. Though it's a little bit weird because it clips, but it might work. Maybe we could even do this actually. As idea. Swap this around so we put the garage on this side and the living space on this side. What do we reckon? For now this can go here. And, um, yeah, because that's a little bit flatter. I don't know if this will fit in a single... In a single space. It might not. We'll see. Oh, it does. Okay. That'll work. That'll totally work. Um... I think that's about right though. I'm gonna fully enclose it eventually, but there you go. <laughs> that's a general idea. It's only one thing, but I can always add on more to the side. And uh, I think that's quite cool. I'm gonna put some crates in here for next time too, so when we go looting at the military sites, we can then cram this full of all our gear that we find. 
think that's the plan for next time. What do we reckon? Hit up the military sites. That sounds fun. There are a couple of them, a couple of them on the map. And then we'll start getting up our skills and we can hopefully do some crafting with the new stuff. Do the crafting and the new cooking recipes with the more farming mod. Very, very exciting stuff. So, uh, look forward to that. It's going to be great. I'm looking forward to it myself. I'm going to build some more crates too off camera. We'll get more stuff squared away. And next time we'll be even more organized, hopefully. And I'll come up with a basic plan for next time. Unlike now where I basically had no plan at all um, for the time being. But that's okay. Like sometimes, sometimes it's good to wing it, you know? Sometimes it makes it more fun, and I think it would have wouldn't have been as enjoyable if we had a plan, you know. So I had a little bit of a plan, but it was mostly I just wung it today. So I probably will do that a lot, but I think it'll be. I'll try to plan it a little bit more for next time. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, we'll see you in the next episode. So uh, don't forget to subscribe. This is Lays Tart signing out. Catch you guys later.